Sen Jeff Merkley abandoned his tepid support of the Jordan Cove Energy Project this week, setting off a political fracas over the controversial proposal to build a massive natural gas export terminal in Coos Bay and a feeder pipeline stretching across southern Oregon. Merkley doesn't hold much sway in the regulatory process for the $8 billion project, which backers tout as the largest infrastructure project in Oregon history and major job creator. But he has been buffing his environmental credentials for some time, and he becomes the only member of Oregon's congressional delegation to express outright opposition to the project. His new position was immediately applauded by environmental groups, who are now calling on Gov. Kate Brown to join Merkley in opposition. Brown has remained neutral on the project, which is a favorite of the building trades, another important constituency of the Democrats. Her office claims she has no real authority over the decision, and is only serving as a referee to make sure the process is fair. Merkley's opposition also comes amid strong support for the project from the Trump administration. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has jurisdiction over siting new liquefied natural gas terminals, and Trump has remade the commission since 2016, when commissioners rejected Jordan Cove's last application. The new commissioners are widely seen as pro-industry based on their past statements, and Jordan Cove officials have said they like their prospects under the new administration and commission. The project cannot go forward without a number of state permits, however, which makes Brown an important player. Her silence has frustrated opponents of the project, who say it's a hypocritical stance given her own increasingly forceful statements on global warming and the need to regulate carbon emissions. Backers of the project are also anxious to see her way in. Brown's presumed opponent in next year's gubernatorial election, states N. Newt Bueller, R. Bend, tried to make political hay out of Merkley's new stance. Governor Brown needs to stop dodging whether she supports the long-delayed energy terminal in Coos County and will approve all necessary state permits, Bueller said Friday in a news release. As governor, I will the people of the South Coast want and need leadership for this job-creating, revenue-generating project at Jordan Cove. A number of Southern Oregon legislators also sent out their own news release, a $10 billion Intel-sized investment such as this will pay dividends to the region for a generation. The positive benefits of this project will ripple across Southern Oregon and help revitalize a part of our beautiful state that has been economically stagnating for decades. A spokesman for the governor, Brian Hockaday, said Friday that the approval of the project was ultimately up to federal regulators. Governor Brown's role is to make sure the application is considered fairly when state agencies are involved and to ensure the voices of Oregonians are taken into account throughout the review process, Hockaday said. Just as the state cannot green light this process, it cannot red light it either.